Hey everyone, it's Raquel from Succulents Box. Today we're going to talk about hydrogen peroxide and succulents. For reference, this video will be broken up into five sections, one covering some basic information on hydrogen peroxide, and the rest are for the ways that you can use it with your plants. So without further ado, let's get into it. Part 1. What is hydrogen peroxide? Hydrogen peroxide, designated as H2O2, is a chemical substance just one oxygen particle away from water. Don't drink it though. Typically, you'll see hydrogen peroxide in the medicine cabinet as a wound cleaner or disinfectant. But this type of hydrogen peroxide is diluted with water to make it safe for your skin. Most bottles of hydrogen peroxide you can buy at the drugstore range from about 30% concentration down to 3% concentration. As a disinfectant, hydrogen peroxide is great for more than just your skin. You can even use it as a disinfectant for plants as well. This is because of how the chemical reacts with viruses or bacteria. Hydrogen peroxide weakens and sometimes destroys virus membranes and proteins these cells need to multiply. Cells with weaker membranes will be affected with a diluted solution while your skin cells remain unharmed. For plants, the process is the same. However, since plants and especially succulents have a weaker cell membrane than our skin cells do, we'll have to water down our hydrogen peroxide a bit before using it. So what can we do with hydrogen peroxide in the garden? Today I want to share with you four different ways to use the substance without hurting your plants. Part two, disinfecting tools. One of my favorite ways to use hydrogen peroxide is to disinfect my tools. When I'm working with infected succulents, I disinfect my tools before using them again to avoid spreading any infections to my other plants. I like to first rinse off my tools with water, then wipe them down with some hydrogen peroxide straight from the bottle. Then I let my tools sit for a few minutes and rinse them off again with soap and warm water. When you rinse your tools, make sure to check for any excess residue. You can also use hydrogen peroxide to disinfect a pot, which is great for succulents struggling with root rot or ones that are previously root bound to their pot. This cleaning process is the same for cleaning tools but I recommend diluting your hydrogen peroxide further by adding about one teaspoon per cup of water. For pots, make sure you rinse the hydrogen peroxide off immediately so the pot's material doesn't soak it in. Part three, treating gnats. Gnats suck, but fortunately, one of the best gnat treatments out there is hydrogen peroxide. Like bacteria, fungal gnat eggs have thin membranes and are particularly susceptible to oxidization from hydrogen peroxide. I recommend diluting your hydrogen peroxide in a 50-50 mixture with water to treat for gnats. Spray your solution over the soil to kill any gnat eggs and larvae. If you are treating fungal gnats, it's also a good idea to repot your succulent and clean out the pot with hydrogen peroxide as well. That way your succulent is safe from any gnat larva hiding deeper in your pot. Part four, fungal infection treatment. Hydrogen peroxide is great for treating fungal infections in plants, just like how it prevents infections in people. Like with viruses and bacteria, fungi like mold and mildew rely on a protective protein membrane while they grow and hydrogen peroxide is one of the best ways to destroy that membrane, killing the fungus. Just like the gnat treatment, you'll have to water down this hydrogen peroxide solution as well with the 50-50 ratio of water to hydrogen peroxide. Since fungal infections usually occur on the leaves and the stem of the plant, there are two ways you can go about treating them. The first is to apply your hydrogen peroxide mixture to the leaves directly using a cotton swab. For this technique, you'll have to be very gentle to avoid hurting the plant. Dip your cotton swab in the solution you've made and gently rub on the solution like you would remove nail polish. Small strokes, turning the swab upwards to lift away the fungus. This process may take a while and several Q-tips. Another way to treat fungal infection on your succulents is to spray the hydrogen peroxide solution directly on the leaves. When you do so, be careful not to let the solution sit on the leaves for too long, as excess moisture can cause further mold growth. Part five, treating root rot. Root rot is especially difficult to treat because in its later stages, there isn't much you can do to save the plant. As a direct result of poor drainage, one of the best ways to treat root rot is to let your succulent's roots air out and repot it with high drainage soil and a pot with better drainage. 
Root rot is best taken care of in its early stages. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. If you've got any questions or would like to see more from us, feel free to leave a comment down below. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.